Hey everyone, welcome to Encore and today I'm going to demonstrate how I did the pink starlet makeup look at a recent prom formal photo shoot. Now this is my model Danny, and I initially started by applying Urban Decay Primer Potion to her main lid starting from the base of the lashes covering the whole lid all the way up to the brow line and I'm using the MAC 195 concealer brush. Then I used MAC Brulee eyeshadow and the 217 brush and I cover the whole lid with that. This is going to be her base color. And then after applying brulee, I started using the colors and I initially started with MAC Cranberry and I apply this to the outer corner and work that in towards her deeper crease. Now once again I'm using the MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to initially place the color first. Blending is going to come later so I just want to do color placement for now and then blend all the colors later. Then using Amber Lights, this is once again a MAC eyeshadow and I'm using the same brush. I'm applying this to the inner corner as well as the center of her main lid. Once again focusing on placement of the color I'm going to do further blending later on. So after I apply this color to her main lid, I'm going to work on her deeper crease, the inner corner crease. And I'm using Naked Lunch, once again this is from MAC, and I'm applying it with my Italian Badger Round Crease Brush. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of that cranberry color to blend well and nicely with the Naked Lunch. And then I applied MAC Brulee once again, but this time with my 239 brush to her brow bone. So this is going to be her highlighter color as well. My next step is using Eve Pearl's eye pencil and this is in blackout and I'm lining her upper lid and I started from the center working it out and then working from the inner corner to meet that center and then I used my angled brush to clean and smooth out the edges. And then using my Italian badger crease brush I added shadowy lady to her deeper crease and also added that to the outer corner and this is going to create a little bit more dimension to her eye makeup. You just make sure that blends in well with the cranberry and also it transitions nicely with the amber lights color. Now I'm ready for blending and I'm just going to use my 217 brush as a blender brush. I'm just going to make sure there are no sharp he edges to the colors and that the uh, three colors or the four colors trans transition nicely and gradually. And then I'm going to switch back to my 239 brush and a little bit more of the brulee and clean up the brow bone area. Okay, next I'm just going to sculpt and shape her brows using MAC Brune and my Italian Badger Angled Brush. And I'm just going to shape and fill it in a little bit. I'm going to keep the thin brow look, but I'm just going to define it a little bit and just fill it here and there where it's needed. Next I applied some false lashes. Now this is definitely going to add some drama to your makeup look and if you have long thick lashes you can just apply some thick coats of mascara. 
Then I'm ready for her foundation. I'm using Mac Studio Stick Foundation because it's camera friendly. It's a photo shoot, so it's the most ideal for photo shoot. And I'm only applying this to the areas where it needs coverage. Now Danny has beautiful skin, but it needs coverage here and there, so I'm just concentrating on those areas. And I'm using a wet sponge to even and shear that out. And blend it out. Okay, and then I'm just going to apply some more where it's needed. Here and there. And then once again, make sure that that's well blended with a sponge. Next, I'm using Magic Salmon Concealer and my MAC 195 brush, and I'm just going to apply this to Danny's under eye area. So I'm going to place the product first, and then I'm going to smooth and blend that out with a wet sponge. Using a wet sponge is really ideal because for one, it's not going to absorb most of the products that you already apply to the skin, and two, it's a really great tool to shear out any thick formulated products like cream foundations and cream concealers. Now if your makeup uh, tends to cake, just use a wet sponge and you're going to be able to shear that out. Next, this is a very important step, setting the cream foundation or concealer with a translucent powder. Now this is Eve Pearl's Photo Finish Powder and I'm applying this with a dabbing motion, okay, not a rubbing motion, using a puffy and this is going to set the foundation and the concealer. Next, I'm ready to work on her lower liner, and I'm using MAC Shadowy Lady with a 219 brush, and I'm just going to smoke this out from the outer corner and about halfway in. And right on her lash line, I'm just applying a black eyeliner pencil. And then for the inner corner and around the tear duct, I'm applying MAC Naked Lunch Eyeshadow with my 211 brush and making sure that that blends well with the Shadowy Lady and the black pencil. And then for her blush, I'm using Eve Pearl Sassy Blush Trio, and I chose the uh, medium and the dark color in the trio, and applying that with my fan brush to give her a little bit more contour right underneath the cheekbones, and then I'm using the very light color, which is kind of like a peachy pink, right on the apple of the cheeks, working that upwards towards the hairline. And I'm also applying the blush colors right into her forehead to give that a little bit more warmth. And I'm just going to dab that a little bit right into her chin and jawline. And then I'm ready for the lips. I'm using Cosmo Lip Pencil. And I'm just going to straighten the bottom lip first. Just give that a nice plump look. And then I'm going to line the upper lip as well, concentrating more on the peaks and giving her a more or a fuller look to her upper lip. And then just using my 231 brush, I'm just going to bring the lip liner color in a little bit right into her lips. And then using a gloss, this is Eve Pearl's Stardust Lip Gloss, and my 231 brush once again, I'm just going to apply this to the center of the pout. Okay, and then just blend that outwards a little bit. And then onto the upper lip, so both the upper and the lower lip, just in the middle of the pout and then using a little bit of concealer in my concealer brush I'm just going to clean the lip line area okay and then using a little bit more of the concealer I'm just going to soften her smile lines so that way the camera doesn't pick it up during the photo shoot and then once again, I'm going to soften all that out with my wet sponge. Now when you're doing makeup for photo shoots, just make sure to take a couple of test shots first and then look at it and see where you need adjustments. If you need to change colors, if the camera or the flash is bouncing off a certain color because it's too shimmery, then you might want to change that to something a little bit more of a satin finish or a matte finish perhaps. But one way or another, the key is Look at the camera viewer and look at the test shots and see if you need to make adjustments. And then finally, just a final powder ring so that she doesn't shine during the photo shoot. Now we're ready for hair. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, bye.